Today we got a really, really, really exciting unboxing and also very late at night because I'm recording this at 10.04 p.m. right now. So we got a package. We got the package from Speedkeep Shop again. Thank you to Speedkeep Shop for sending this out. We got the Moyu Aosu V7 and the X-Men Tornado V4. So I kind of actually want to open the V7 first. I got the double track one because I feel like the triple track version was probably going to be a bit too too overkill. So here we have the double track V7. Let's see some. Okay, I already started. So. Okay, I think it's a little bit tight out of the box. Like the corner cutting isn't really there yet, but maybe a bit of loosening or maybe just even breaking it in and adding some stardust into it will make it feel a little bit better, but it kind of has a little bit of speed. And I actually noticed this is a little bit smaller than the VIN cube. And I don't know if you can notice this, but you can definitely see a little bit of the fact that the outer layers are actually a little bit bigger than the inner layers. And there is UV coating on this cube, so it is definitely a lot more shiny. I think there is a frosted version of this cube, like maybe a standard version, but I kind of wanted to get the UV coated one. So it is definitely a little bit smaller than the VIN here. And the shades actually look a little bit different than on the VIN, but I think the UV coating definitely does affect the shades a little bit, but I think the shades on here are actually a little bit more, slightly more vibrant than on the VIN. Now I'm gonna do a solve on this cube. I'm not really good at four by four, but I did get a, a 48 second solve once off camera, but I'm probably gonna have like a one minute and something second solve here. Okay, that was a really, really bad solve there. But yeah, I'm not really used to this uh, 4x4 yet. I think I do need to set it up a little bit, maybe loosen it a little so it doesn't lock up so much. But I feel like because of the size of it in comparison to the VIN cube that I have there, I think I'm just gonna main this because it is a little bit smaller and actually fits my hands a lot better. It's like a more comfortable size. When turning, slice layers will, will probably be a little bit to get used to, but as it is right now, after a bit of setup, I think this will be my main. And if you wanna get cubes like these, be sure to use code J at speakyshot.com to get 5% off your order. And if you also wanna support me and my channel, be sure to join my membership. Click the join button right next to the subscribe button and I would really appreciate that. <laughs> we have the Tornado V4. We got another card. Wait a minute. We got a GAN case looking thing okay it does make a sound in there there are magnets what the hell <laughs> i didn't think they would just turn into gan at this point and add in some magnets into the packaging but whatever and here we have an accessories box we got a screwdriver to adjust the magnets and actually a proper one this time literally it's a little teeny tiny one but like it has an actual grip on it another tornado bag i think it's actually a darker red color this time what that is interesting <laughs> And we got a blank center cap, which I'm actually going to put on right now. And we got some pamphlets. I hope you can read Chinese. And now the cube itself. Okay, this is it actually feels a little bit less glossy than the B3 flagship for some reason. Yeah, it feels a little bit more frosted. Yeah, it's actually really, really fast. Like, I feel like it's a little bit more faster than the Tornado V3 I fell out of the box, but it still does definitely feel like a Tornado V3. Um, does it auto-line? Okay, it doesn't. But I'm pretty sure that's what the extra magnets were for on the Pioneer Edition. And because I didn't get the Pioneer Edition, we just have normal magnets here. And I think one difference that you can definitely notice or maybe not, is the magnet adjustments are on the corners instead of the edges on here. So now it will literally make it to where it's only eight magnet adjustments 
It actually turns every single like corner adjustment on each side. So you technically only have to do eight adjustments. So you don't have to like go to each side and do it. You can just like do it on like these sets of corners and it will just everything else. So that is a lot better than how it was on the Tornado V3 where you had to do 24 adjustments on each of the edges. Let's do a solve. I'm just gonna hand scramble it again because I'm too lazy to open up CS timer right now. Okay, <laughs> that's probably a really bad solve. I'm still not really used to this cube. Obviously, it's still really fast. I haven't really set it up yet, but I'm gonna do one more. Okay, that was a lot better as far as it is right now. I'm definitely going to main it, and I guess I definitely do want to do th more thorough testing on this cube to see if there is any problem. As with the Aosu V7, I think it's also going to be my main. I'm probably going to talk about it more on its review as well, but I think I'm going to definitely practice a lot more with this cube, set it up a little bit, maybe loosen it, add some stardust into the cube, and try to get used to this cube and all of its quirks and everything, especially the magnets in the middle being super strong as well. That is something I definitely need to get used to but I think that's pretty much it for this video thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one bye